Ah, pretty good. That's a good. Hello, True Farmer. Is it, uh, is it too late to uh, just call it quits? Um, uh, on the sweet plow. Why do you want to call it quits? I, I, I just took a look at this animation chain here. Volunteers? Oh my goodness. Redonkulous. Uh, we're still doing uh, schoolwork. Have another th three or four hours worth of it. Uh, you see why Brady does not do it. Hmm. Okay. Well, well, like I said, there, True Farmer. If you don't want to, uh, uh, if you don't want to do your homework, you can just uh, participate in uh, Brady's uh, education program. That will we'll, we'll be sure to help you train for it. Uh, just, just repeat after me. You want fries with that? Evening there, Jeffrey. Welcome to the stream. Hello, uh, JDT9750SDS. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we're working on the sweet plow here again tonight for some mod. And yes, I know it's what 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 what, what day is it? It's it's, it's some day that ends in day today, right? Uh, so we're working on the uh, sweet plow. Uh, I have done a little bit of work on it here since the last live stream. I have an XML file for it now. I don't think we had that last live stream, did we? I don't think so. User joined I've already started on the XML file. Uh, what I did is I went as I grabbed the XML file from the flexi coil in the game, so the in-game flexi coil, and uh, basically been using that kind of as my base file to start with. So um, I, I like a terrible modder when I changed the name of it up at the top. You know, uh, shame of me. I know I, sh I should just leave it the same name as what it was. You know, that's what all the good mod authors do apparently. Um, I haven't really changed a whole lot else. Like the working with this twenty-four. What is thirty feet? Uh, it's probably like two, no. Let's see what, no, is this 30 feet? I think this is 30 feet, right? 10 meters. I think it's 10 meters. Well, 10. Something like that. 35 feet, maybe something. Uh, do you remember you started at 8.50 this morning? 8.50 this morning, huh? Well, there's your problem. You, you gotta start at 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, Jeffrey, you get $15 an hour for that, though, right? Yeah, I can imagine that there, Jeffrey. You're getting paid $15 an hour. You want fries with that? I don't want to work for my hey, job for him. I was going to do that job. More, that's more than what I make. <laughs> I know, right? I say, it may, it may not be quite as much as I make, but hey, sounds like it's a whole lot easier, right? Uh, let's see. What's there. Oh, wait, I'm talking, 33 feet. That's what it was. 33 feet. Okay. Yeah, so I think uh, looking at it in the game there, it's, or I'm not in the game, in the editor. Actually, I have looked at this in the game too, by the way. We'll see once maybe we get to that here tonight. Um, in the editor, it is 5 meters and 5 meters, it looks like. So, that makes sense for 10. Uh, function, I, it's... Excuse me. Uh, just as set up as a cultivator, yeah. Simple change if we got to change that. Um, we'll worry about that later. Uh, store image, price. I haven't changed any of those numbers. Brand. I did put it down as a sunflower. I don't know if that's the right brand there. We'll have to ask uh, Wind Farm on that one. Uh, it's still in the cultivator category. Uh, let's see what's here. It's also type description, type cultivator. Uh, the file name is a complete plow. I th Ooh, that reminds me. I need to show a uh, wind farm the size of this file now. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes. You folks will never guess what we got this file down to now. Uh, let's see what's your size. Width is 
See, I'm not, I'm not actually sure what this size is here, because I mean, it says the width is 11, length is 9.5, length offset 1.5, okay. Width 11 what, though? Is that folded up dimensions? Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what this is. I, mean, I actually honestly do not know. Size what? <laughs> I, I'm thinking that's the folded up size, because up here, you know, it's, well, okay, it did say it was 24 meters. Yeah, 24 meters. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, speed limit is currently set to 15. Keep in mind that is kilometers. I think a lot of mod authors uh, screw that up when they go to edit their mods. And you want a combine header that goes 6 miles an hour. They put 6 in there. And it ends up going 2 kilometers an hour. Or something. Well, it won't be quite 2. It'll be like 3 and something change, right? But uh, speaking, speaking of mods. Yeah. Something strange is going on with the uh, planner we have. No. Oh. Well, that's, it, that's... It, it has these strange that swing out. That swing out? What What are they for? Uh, uh, I have no idea. What, what, pray tell, what do they look like? They just look like little arms that have like a little disc on the end. One little disc on the end of it. I have no idea what those are before. Sounds archaic. I mean, I got the line thingy. I don't, I don't know what you need those other things for then. Uh, I went from Flex King. Oh, so I could have actually left it as a Flex King brand. If I leave it as a Flex King brand, then that the game already has Flex King as a brand in it. Hmm. If that works, that sounds easier to me. Uh, anyway, got uh, I got some wheels set up here as well. One, I just uh, there's only what eight wheels in this here. I was actually surprised. <laughs> like, uh, never actually really counted them up before. I guess and it's like, oh, there's only eight wheels. Okay, so it didn't take too long to do that. Just grab the uh, location of each one of those. So you know, left inner, left wing tire, right, and blah blah blah, so on and so forth. Uh, Jeffrey exclamation point line thing. That would be guidance steering mod. <laughs> ah, look at Jeffrey. He knows. He knows it. I thought Wind Farm said it was going to volunteer to do all these animations. Yeah, I thought, uh, yeah, that's right. Wasn't Wind Farm good doing the animations here? That's what I heard. Ah, okay. Uh, also, getting down here to the attachable section here, I updated the attachable. Uh, I do plan to use an i3D mapping, everyone, so I simply went to the i3D, grabbed the names of the attachers, and I'm using the names. Although, why does the front attacher joint there? I don't quite look right. Hmm. And what is there? Ah, that one there. Okay. Looks like I need to move this one in. The other one out. Just happen to notice that. We'll just uh, stick that one back down there. Okay, so yep, got our front attacher there. Also added a rear attacher in as well on the XML. So a attachable is meaning something can be a uh, this thing can be attached to something, right? And then we got an attacher joint, so something can be attached to this thing. Hopefully that makes sense. Something like that. Ah, uh, Wind Farm. No, not, no, wait, wait. I, th I thought it was pretty sure it was Wind Farm, wasn't it? I thought Wind Farm was up for this job. Uh, let's see. It's our power consumer force node. Not sure what that is exactly. It's just, you know, it's probably something important. Uh, we got a work area here. Uh, what I simply did is I exported the work areas on the flexi coil, imported them in the sweet plow, did the same thing with the AI triggers as well. Uh, just export them there, imported them here. I shouldn't have to change this at all because they got the same names. So it should have the same names as what was in the Flexi Coil because, again, I'm using the Flexi Coil kind of as the base XML for this. I don't know if that was the best one to go with or not. It's one, it's like, well, we'll go with that one. Um, so, yeah, got the work areas in here. Uh, all I had to do with the work areas was uh, move them into the right, the right width. So, obviously, the Flexi Coil is quite a bit wider than this. So just uh, slid them into the bright width or what I 
guesstimated to be the right width, which, uh, like I said, I got it set at 5, so 10 meters wide. Uh, let's see, anything else here? That's brought it. Uh, we need to still do stuff with, like, work particles, ground reference nodes. All that stuff has to be set up yet, of course. Haven't gotten there yet. Uh, foldable. That's kind of what I want to work on here tonight. See if we get this thing to fold up. And yes, uh, oh boy, oh boy. I'm pretty sure uh, Wind Farm was going to help me with this part, right? I think Wind Farm to see. Um, this uh, this whole piece right here, uh, Wind Farm, from line 234 all the way down to uh, 408 is for flow, uh, folding the flexi coil. So keep in mind that's the flexi coil, and it's not this one, of course, but. <laughs> It only takes, uh, how many, how many lines of code is that? 170 lines of code? Yeah, it only takes about 170 lines of code to uh, fold the flexi coil. That's, that's not bad, right? Uh, what are you, are you looking at the contract? Ooh, the contract, huh? Contract? We got a contract on this? Oh, boy. Uh, Jeffrey, even though he won't be showing up, who goes camping during... The week they have a birthday? Ooh, happy birthday to Josh, huh? Ooh, spam the birthday command. Even though he's probably not here. Spam it anyway. I don't know, that sounds like a pretty good way to spend a birthday if you ask me there, uh, Jeffrey. Camping. So maybe not in this weather. User disconnected from your channel. And, uh, depends on the camping, you know, preferably probably not in a tent then either. Some, uh, a little bit more established accommodations might be nicer. Okay, so let's see once here. Yes, animations. Ugh. This looks like fun. Yeah. So, so Wind Farm is, uh, not going to help you. Uh, wait, he's not? Well, then who's going to do the job? Don't expect me to do this now, do you? I was if he was not gonna help you, then I was thinking about a uh putting out a different kind of contract. Oh. Different kind of contract, huh? Or at least see if we can um give Wind Farm an offer he can't refuse. Oh, can't refuse, hey. Uh, and then don't uh, forget, Wind Farm, once you get the animation uh, figured out, then we also have to figure out the uh, moving parts here, too. We got the cylinder moving tools. Looks like that only takes up, uh, oh, let's see once here. Oh, yeah, that's only like 250, or, I mean, that's 250. That's only like 150 lines, you know. That that should be a lot easier. You know, the, an the animation's 170 lines, you know. <laughs> moving parts, uh, yeah, it's 150, nothing to that. Uh, let's see what's our cultivator. Only active when lowered. False. Okay. AI. Needs lowering. AI markers. Uh, collision trigger. AI collision trigger. I was turned backwards. False. Turning radius limitation. Rotation joint node. Front attacher joint. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. wonder what that is. No idea. Front attacher joint something. Uh, tool reverser direction note. AI marker back. Do I have one of those? I should probably check that. I should actually because I imported it. So AI marker. AI marker back. Yes, I do. I don't know if it's set. Yeah, it's probably about in the right spot. Uh, Caleb, you uh, forgot how bad consoles were. Oh, telling me. Someone had given me a PlayStation 4 a while back. Thought I'd uh, check it out this weekend. Wow, I was uh, surprised at the graphics. I was like, oh, the graphics on the console are that bad? I knew they weren't as nice as the PC, but I didn't know they were that bad. Uh, went from, uh, it's, it's 170 lines to fold it up. It's 150 to raise and lower it. That's, it's, that's not bad, right? Uh, how, how long do you think it'll take you to finish that? Uh, 
Okay, so yep, yeah, on to the folding part here. I, I don't think it's going to take us that many lines to fold this one, I don't think. Don't know that for a fact, though. Guess we'll find out. We'll just, uh, we'll just pick a side and start with it, I guess, right? Let's see, fold. Uh, we'll start with the left side, sure. <laughs> Went from weeks and weeks. Oh, okay. Sounds reasonable to me. Okay, so start time will be uh, start time at zero, end time. Now, I wonder, do we have to start in the folded position or the unfolded position? Probably makes a difference. Good question. Done, though. Okay, so sweet plow, middle, left. Hmm. That's not going to quite rotate where I want it to, is it? Wonder if I should adjust that. Thinking I probably should. We'll just move all that crap out of there. What I want to do, I want is I want to have the location of this be at the the pivot point. So I probably should have done this when I set it up, but. Uh, Got about that, that I would need to an or edit this animation. Ooh, this is not in the right spot. What happened there? That is, uh, that is no bueno. Hmm. Note the cube is not, okay. How'd that happen? Wait, if I just zero this, will that go back to where it's supposed to be? No. That will not go back where it's supposed to be. Okay. Somehow that cube is at zero. Don't know how that is, but. Wow, that one's not either. What the heck? Yeah. This one on the right spot? Yeah, that one's on the right spot. Okay, I'm taking that one. Come along, buddy. I should just duplicate that one. You are now going to be the middle uh, middle joint. I guess it's a good thing I didn't uh, delete those cubes out yet. They might just be coming in handy. Yeah, it's good enough for government work. Uh, well, that was easy. 100 on the uh, geography quiz. Now math, then zoology. St uh, zoology. Oh, my goodness. Uh, easy 100. Nice. Hey, way to go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. 100, huh? Uh, Jeffrey, you've been working on this nonstop since 8.30 this morning? Uh, I think he said 8.50 this morning, but, uh, you know, close, close enough, right? Uh, I went from going to look fun if it's folded like that. <laughs> normal for mod. <laughs> That's be normal mod, right? <laughs> Isn't that what it's supposed to do? Okay, we're going to duplicate that one again. Oh, the left joint, huh? We need to call this one the outer. Outer left joint.
Okay, there we go. Looks good to me. Uh, Trevor and Jeffrey in about an hour, 20 minute break total. Hour and 20 minutes. Wow. It's only about an hour more than what I get at work. Must be nice. Okay. Now, hopefully that uh, transform is located where it needs to be now. Yeah, much better. Much, much better. Much more better. And drop this in there. And I want to freeze the transform on it. Edit. Freeze. I want to freeze the translate. Yes. That'll work. And then I'll move it back out here. Back to where it's supposed to be, and then we'll throw all the crap that was in it back in it. And hopefully nothing got its uh, position changed. It shouldn't have, I don't think. Yeah, it looks like all that stuff is uh is where it needs to be. Perfect. Ah, that's blah, blah, blah. Trans from blah, blah, blah. UV map. Oh, U ooh, UV map. We haven't got to the UV maps yet. I haven't done anything with the textures on this thing yet. Uh, I, I figured we'd just leave it this way. I figured Jeff would be uh, you know, real appreciative of the chrome look. I figured this is probably the uh, the look Jeffrey wants to go for anyway, right? That shiny green chrome, and then we got the dark chrome, darker chrome on the outer wings. Probably can make it all the same if we uh, change a couple values on this one, you know? There we go. Zero that one out. And that, see, now, now they all look the same, right? Nothing to it. Okay. That is set right. Uh, hopefully set right. Nope, not that section. This a section. So, of course, what I'm looking at here, well, I wanted that set. So when I rotate this now, hey, look at this. It actually rotates... Uh, out of curiosity, uh, Wind Farm, if you're still here, does that go up 90, or does it fold further than that? Uh, any uh, figmented sprayer talk to... Oh, figment figmented. Uh, I mean section control? I'd rather talk about uh, 2X maps. Oh, 2X maps. And give me a 2x maps. Well, what's it look like if we stand this up 90? Okay, I guess that looks... I was going to say, wait a minute, that doesn't look like 90. But no, if I zoom out, that looks like 90. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, like I said, I mean, the only question I have here is, do I have to start at 90 or both fold to 90? Okay, so 90 and then 90. Got it. So part, let's get our part name here. It'll be the sweet plow middle left. Our start time will be zero, our end time 15. I don't know what 15 is, everyone, is, is 15, 15 seconds? No idea. And unfortunately, this seems to be one topic I have not been able to find much information on, so... Yeah, if anyone has any good information on how all of this works, I'd love to know, because like I said, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot here on this. Uh, a couple of the videos I watched, the one person too, like, I don't know what 15 is, that... 15 seconds. That person I was watching, like I said, didn't know either. So, anyway. Nope, I need this. You know what? I'm going to actually pull this off to the other screen here so I can look at the numbers here a minute. So, uh, let's see what's here. So, yeah, you folks might not be able to see this, but I'm going to want 
Start rotate. Probably gonna be negative 90, right? Or no, no, it'll be that'll be 90. And rotate will be zero. So I'm gonna start at 90, rotate down. And then we'll go to the next uh, component here. We'll just uh, stick this back down to zero. We're going to do the same thing with this piece because this piece also probably is not set. Yeah, I know it rotates right there. Mind you, I, want, I could probably work with that maybe. But it's going to be a whole lot easier to probably just put that on zero. And then, then you don't have to worry about it, right? So, we'll do the same thing. Pull all the stuff out of it. Drop this up in the joint here. Set that joint as the uh, location. Pull it back out. Put the crap back in it. And now if we rotate it, hey look at that, it rotates right there. Almost like someone knows what they're doing. It's scary, isn't it? Okay, and that'll be uh, 90 as well. So, start time. Let's say that's going to be <clears throat> 15, right? And this will make this 30. I don't know. And we'll make that 90. Make that zero. Actually, wait a minute here. Uh, they are starting at rotate zero, aren't they? Hmm. Maybe I should go the same way they're going. Do this. Not sure what the rotation lock limits are, so we'll just uh, comment that bit out. Lock rotation limit. Component joint index and start time. Hmm. Don't know. Uh, Jeffrey, milliseconds? I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's milliseconds, I don't think. That'd be awful quick. Never know. It is Giants we're talking about here. Uh, of course, with us, I mean, we're not done with the animation on this yet either because we do have uh, cylinders in here as well. So when this folds up, so if we rotate this uh, 90, this uh, cylinder has to move as well. Let's see, what's, where is that cylinder? Oh, that's actually on the other one. That's right. And that's just going to kind of have to... Like that, I guess. Okay. Should work. Uh, 99 forever. What are you making now? We are working on what's known as a sweep plow. At least, at least that's what I've been told they're called anyway. Uh, True Farmer, you found a country artist last night. She is not even on streaming services, huh? Oh boy. Is that a good thing or a bad thing then? So we're going to want to... Need to rotate. I need a, a translate one here for this one. And I've got the original XML open on my other screen here. So if you're wondering what I'm looking at, looking at the original XML over here for that one. And I forgot to change the name on that one, didn't I? Hmm, that would probably help.
this other one where is where having like four, five, 10, 20 monitors uh, really comes in handy when you got to have like multiple XMLs open and you're uh, looking at Giants Editor and comparing that from one to the next. Yeah, you know, three or four monitors can really come in handy when doing this. Oh, uh, True Farmer, you saw what uh, Whistle and Diesel bought? Not watch the video? I saw the notification though. Yeah, I, I saw it there, uh, True Farmer. I did indeed. We'll see how long that one stays nice. Uh, True sure. Uh, demands YouTube's the only place I can find her, so can't download any songs. Oh, interesting. Okay, so fold. For this one, it's probably going to be, yeah, we'll go 15 and 30, because this is going to be the fold, the outer one out. So it'll be the same start time as that one. And then we're going to want to move that piece. And let's just make the assumption we're probably going to start at zero. That's everyone now. Uh, Remember when we we're setting up the locations of some of the parts where we set them up right makes this animation a little bit easier, I think. So we're starting, should be at zero, zero here. Yep, notice everything is zero. So we're starting at zero, zero. And then the only thing we're going to have to do is set how far back it needs to be. So probably about in there. We're going to have to set a rotate for this too. Um, be a little further back. So we'll just uh, copy that, and that's going to be the first one. Everything else can stay zero. Hey, Daddy Bot, welcome to the stream. And then we'll add a uh, rotate in there as well. That's going to be the rotate for that. Now, I can either rotate it there or I can rotate it here. The here is probably going to be easier, I think, just because this one's zero. So starting at zero, and we're going to rotate to... Probably about uh, 1.387 looks pretty good to me. That is the right one, right? Yes, rotating Z. Okay. Put this all back out where it's supposed to be. On to the next section here then. Now. Am I doing this right? I have no idea. We'll hopefully uh, find out here, everyone. I'm just going to, like, do the first side here first, and we'll uh, see if we can maybe, like, try it in the game somehow before I, like, do the other side and figure out if I missed anything or got something wrong here. Uh, wind farm, you set things up right, it'll work out better in the end. Exactly. And, and this, too, is where, you know, if you've, like, done this a couple of times... Uh, when it comes to mods, you'll probably get a little better. Oh, okay, Th I need to do it this way, so it makes it easier when you get to this step, right? Like I said, I'm not done um, from scratch any sort of tillage piece yet, so is it the right way? Eh, I don't know. Seems to be working so far. How are you going to know this is the wrong way? Uh, it don't work? It's full of errors? That makes it a good mod, right? Oh yeah, that's right. I keep forgetting that. Yes, that's a good point. Yeah, or at least, or at least a releasable mod. Right, right. Uh, if, if your uh, if your mod completely fills the air log, that's that's a win win right there, right? Hmm. It's gonna be a little close to that cylinder, isn't it? 
I don't think this uh, cylinder is going to fold up. <laughs> Might have a problem here. Houston, our wind farm. This, this looks like a problem. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, let's see what's her left fold inner. I don't think this uh, cylinder is going to retract far enough. Well, we could just uh, retract it all the way and hope for the best, I guess. Yeah, something doesn't quite seem right there. Go with that for now, but... Okay, we're going to copy-paste this. And these will be starting at zero, because we'll fold out the inner one first, then the outer. Did I copy that already? No. Oh, well, wouldn't have mattered. I don't think I need to really set a rotate on that. Looks like that's uh, pretty good right where it's at. So I'm going to uh, going to leave that right there then. Zero that. And zero that again. Uh, reminder here, by the way, for those of you wondering, like when I fold this up, that other piece obviously is not going with it. Um... That's, as far as my understanding goes, it is attached in the game. So these are all separate pieces in the game. They are linked together by the node inside of each one. So they should, I think, fold up. Find out. We'll see what's if I'm right on that. Not sure. Either that, we're going to end up with some very weird folding sections. We'll probably still end up with some very weird folding sections. Okay, so I don't actually need this one. Okay, that should be the fold for that side, right? Maybe, I don't know. Now we got all the moving parts here. Oh, I just don't even want to look at that. No, oh boy. Yeah, that doesn't look like any fun. Not one little bit. Maybe if you know what you're doing, maybe it would be, but... Like I said, I have not been able to find a good... Uh, resource on this stuff yet. What we do? Wheel indices. Oh, boy. Uh, Jeffrey, is it about time to in-game it? Uh, I've seen it in the game already. You want to see what it looks like in the game? I think we should go see what it looks like in the game, see if I got my full animations right. I'll go and save that. Uh, Jeffrey, so the in-game can implode? On, at contrary, it looked, uh, actually, do I have the screenshot? I don't know. I might not have taken a screenshot. I thought it looked pretty good in the game. All shiny and chromey. No, must not have grabbed a screenshot. Oh, well. Okay. Let's go ahead and close that. Uh, by the way, I mentioned the uh, file size on this earlier one. Guess what? We're down to 20 megs. 20 megs on the file size there. I think that's uh, I think that's pretty good. Uh, Jeffrey, if you put the, the poop on it, I didn't see it. Uh, oh. Nope, nope, I didn't put it on there, though. Uh, though, Jeffrey, if you would have joined on there, you could have seen what happened to One Lonely Farmer. And let's see what's who else... Uh, Let's see what's here. Who else was on here that I seen something interesting Jeffrey would like? Oh, yeah, there's the one from Welker Farms. Yep, yep. Ooh, there's a nice one from Brian's farming videos. Well, the combine's nice. Tractor, I don't know, is questionable. Uh, 
That's some sort of weird looking planner. Hmm. Jeff would probably like to see this. Too bad he's not on Instapoop for it. Cool stuff there. Uh, Jeffrey, Cody's Baylor saw it already. Wait, how did how did uh, how did Jeffrey see that now? Oh, it's probably on Facebook. Could have seen the other one that happened to uh, one lonely farmer too. I don't know, maybe put that one on Facebook too. But uh, let's see once here. I'll close that. I need the i three D exporter here. Firewall alert. Oh boy. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't seen that before. You okay? Uh, let's see. Export mappings. Do you believe that's what we want? Copy that to the clipboard. Uh, Jeffrey, I don't know about the other thing. Ah, uh, see, that's that's so that's, that's what you get for not being on Insta, Insta poop there, Jeffrey. Jeffrey needs to get with the times. I know, right? And just think, signing up comes with a free computer. So is that the cost of someone's soul nowadays? I, I could be. <laughs> is that what we're selling it for? Sounds like worthwhile to me. Okay, let's uh, see what's here. I'm just going to grab like this bit here. I don't actually need that or that. Nope, I need that one. I don't need that one. Actually, I don't think I need the MTL file. We just need that and that. We're going to copy that. Bring it over to mods. Paste her in there. Rename the mod folders here a minute. Okay, fire up the game. Activate the sweet plow. Oh, it's missing a missing a picture. Uh, oh well. Cannot load resource DDS. Yeah, well, I don't want to take a picture of it at this point anyway. Well, uh, we'll wait till we uh. Get a little more polished. Uh, super fix it yet? I don't know. About to find out. See what it looks like in the shop? Hey, look at that. It is there. Oh, hey. It's folded up. Okay. Oh, that is not linked in the right spot, is it, though? Okay. Well, okay. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Those pieces look a little uh, detached. wonder if they're supposed to be that way. See, now this looks right, though. Hey, look at that. It's actually folded up. Now... Hmm. Uh, evening there, North. Welcome to the stream. I would have thought that would have stayed linked to that one, but it doesn't, does it? Interesting. Can you unfold it? Uh, come, come, don't be, we don't want to be pushing it now here, do we, Hess? But come on now. I know, go fold it. See what happens. Uh, super looks fine to you. Yeah, it's normal mod. Just release it this way, right? Uh oh, can't connect to it. Houston, where's the attacher joint? Oh boy, look at all them Lua script errors. <laughs> Must be good then. 
There, there's a lot of stuff in the code yet that shouldn't be there once, so... That, it doesn't surprise me there's gonna be some little script errors. Hmm. Wonder where the attacher joint's at, though. That should be working, I would have thought. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, you know what? Let me go check this. What is that I3D linking to here? Attachable. Front attacher joint. Wait. Front attacher joint. Oh, yeah, okay. See if that node actually exists down here. It does there. Front attacher joint. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. Seems like that should be working. So it seems like it should be to me. Or is it just attached to the front of the tracker? Um, no, this is the attacher joint that was in the flexi coil. So that should be the right one. I think. Find it a bit uh, suspicious. It doesn't attach. That seems a little weird. Well, let's see. Once it says it's zero seven, let's go open this up. See once if make sure zero seven is actually the attacher joint here. Should be. I just exported the i three D, so I don't know why it wouldn't be. Uh, let's see. Once the front attacher joint zero seven. Yep, zero seven. It is. Is it just too low down? Maybe. Obviously, the, the, the plow is kind of sitting pitched down at the moment because we don't have any sort of jack or nothing under it, but... Hmm. Cinder block their uh, wind farm? I, th I think I know where I can get a cinder block from. Or is that too archaic? Yeah, it's probably a little archaic for a plow this size. Might want a jack on it. <laughs> Not like you're probably going to be picking up on the hitch of this too quickly. I like some of that old equipment, you know, if the hitch is down on the ground, just grab it yourself by hand and uh, manhandle it up, right? But... Uh, super, no, two cinder blocks, huh? Oh boy, two cinder blocks. Nope, not going to get to that attacher joint. That that should be a rear attacher joint anyway, so. Hmm. Yeah, that really seems like that should be working. I uh, went from, I will get you a jack. Oh, okay. He's, he's going to get me a jack. Can I get one of them that are fancy hydraulic ones? You just gotta push the button. I don't want one of them cranking ones now. Actually, no, I want the cranking ones because I don't want to have to animate the uh, hydraulic one. Nope, that does not attach. Hmm. Let's just. I could probably go look at the airlog and it's probably in there somewhere, but uh, do we really want to look at the airlog? That looks a little broken there, too. I wonder if those are not in the right spot. This one looks like it's in the right spot. That one looks like it's in the right spot. I was going to go check the airlog. That's where I wanted to go. Airlog. What do we got? Why are the attachers not working? Now, remember, what I'm about to show you here is top secret. Make sure you don't share this with anyone. Because if you want to know what's wrong with your mod, uh, there's this top secret file in here. It's known as a log file. You, you open that up and it tells you what's wrong with your mod. Just make sure you don't tell other modders about this, you know. Let's see. Why translation of component 1 node 0 has to be 0? Oh, it's not 0. Ew, okay. Uh, I3D offers 10 objects, but uh, 7 components. Middle. Yeah, that's because we've got a light and a couple of extra transforms, blah, blah, blah. Uh, why translation of component uh, has to be 0? Is it not 0? I guess not. I thought that was zero. What happens if I set that to zero? Oh, that broke nothing to me. That looks like it'll work. Now, what about all these, though? Oh, 
That's that's a little too far. Nope. Just uh, just close that. And don't save it. That's the best solution there from the looks of it. Okay, we'll worry about the uh, Y translation problem. Actually, you know what? I should be able to probably just set that straight to zero, and it shouldn't actually matter. Because if all the components are connected together, even if they are disjointed in there, it won't matter. Uh, went from, we'll get a nice looking jack. Oh boy, oh boy, we're getting fancy. We'll have a nice looking jack. Uh, air index not found. Yeah, these are probably all the, uh, moving parts. We haven't set that up yet. Link argument one has wrong type. Probably a lot of error messages. Invalid ground reference node. Yeah, well, we haven't done anything with the ground reference nodes yet, so. I'd like to see why the attacher's not working. That's kind of what I would like to know. Hmm. Don't see nothing in there about that one. Okay. Plan B then. Let's go fix the Y translation here a minute. Probably must have moved at some point, I'm guessing, because I'm pretty sure that was at zero. Oh, let's see here. Would be the easiest way to fix that. Probably just zero nut, I think. And we just got to subtract 0 0.034 from all the rest of them. Oh, well. Nah, I'm just getting a calculator. Randy does not feel like doing that in his head. 0 0.75 minus 0 0.034. 716. Sure. Uh, <laughs> 0.716. There we go. Not 716. 963. Uh, all the numbers are going to be different, huh? Nice if they're all the same. No. Oh, that one is. Cool. Copy that one, then. Those are all the same. Okay. Okay. Save that. And then if we want to stop this from falling forward. Let's see, what's the best way to fix that? We, we take this uh, cube here, rotate it 90. Slide it back about there. Slide it down about there. And then we add a rigid body to it. Now this is where things got to get interesting. Got to make sure you have this set to the right type of rigid body. Probably a uh, dynamic, and yeah, that does not look like the right collision mask. That is definitely not the right collision mask. Either is that, or that, or that one. Okay. I thought I had these uh, collision masks set. Hmm. Guess not. Let's go see what we got to set these to then. I'm just going to go with the uh, flexi coil. That should uh, be about the same, I think. I would uh, guess that pretty much all the tillage pieces of equipment in the game would probably have the same type of collision, I would assume. So we need dynamic compound collision and a collision mask of 2002. Yeah. 
And we'll just make sure we set all of them to that. And for anyone wondering, don't ask what the collision does here. It just checks some random boxes. In this case, it checks box 13 and box 1. What that does, I don't know. I can make some Magic McKinney guesses, but... Okay, and then my cube that I rotated, not that one. That one. So dynamic, compound, collision mask. It actually might not be the right one. We'll find out. It might squawk at my uh, rigid body there. <laughs> that might not be the right type of rigid body for a jack. We'll find out. Uh, let's see. Let's see. You know what? Well, we're here. Here, I can copy paste this code back in, so let's just get rid of this code here. Everything else should mostly be pretty good. Uh, oh, full edge bending node. I'll uh, just uh, let me just comment this out. I don't really want to delete all of this out of it because I kind of want to have it here, so I remember that I need to, you know. Update it, get it to the right settings for this uh, particular implement. Okay, everything else should be pretty good, I think. Oh, hubs. <laughs> yeah, sure. And then one thing I'm going to do, too, is I'm going to remove the uh, wheels from this model. I'm going to export these wheels into a uh, separate XML or a separate I3D file. Uh, as I said, I'm not 100% sure we're going to use these yet, but for now, I'm not. Might make them like an option, or we'll see if we can find something in the game that's close. I'm going to export that as a wheel. Export. A new folder, wheels. Wheel. Okay. That wheel's gone. So is that one. And that one. And that one. That one. That one. That one. And that one. Hey, we're wheelless. Uh, I went for a make it work with a new mod. With the new mod? Which, uh, which new mod are we talking about here? Okay, save that. Close it. Yeah, look at that, we're down to 19. Okay, taking out the wheels didn't really save that much space. Mainly just because I don't want them being loaded in with the other wheels that are being loaded into it at the moment. Okay, let's grab that, grab that, copy that. Over to the mod folder. Paste that in there. Reload. And if it goes flying off, I know nothing about uh, rigid bodies. Nope. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Reminder, by the way, everyone, if you'd like to uh, join us in on uh, TeamSpeak, you're welcome to do so. That information, again, is uh, down below in the uh, description there. Mm, excuse me. Uh, description there. 
anyone is welcome to join as long as you can not play nicely and follow the rules. Uh, I don't think that worked. Just saying. Must be, oh, yeah, okay, because it's, uh, uh, it's a rigid body, and it already has a scale on it. Can't have a rigid body with a scale on it. Forgot about that. Yep. Hmm. Rotate at a funny angle. That's weird. Probably see if I can fix it. Oh, hey, did our, uh, the cylinder fold up right. No, it did not. Okay, so I got something wrong on the cylinder here because the cylinder didn't uh, fold up. Uh, maybe I got to be the other way around. That's where it'd be nice to uh, connect to this, everyone, so I can actually connect and see once when it uh, goes to unfold. Does it actually fold out like I want it to? Because, yeah, this cylinder's folded out too, so... Uh, try to get to see that uh, bad green thing every time I load the game. Oh, bad green thing. Nope, don't attach. No attachy. What happens if I uh, get like a proper tractor here? Proper tractor. Uh, to lift up. Uh, that's kind of why I wanted to put that uh, jack under it there to see once if maybe it is a little too low in the ground. That might be why. I don't think it's that low in the ground though. I think something else is going on, but you know, process of elimination, right? That cube's got a collision on it. <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> uh. Where are you going? Okay. Guess we better go fix that a minute. And I don't have the heavy lift mod in that uh, folder there, so I can't just uh, pick it up that way. Oh, let's see. Once you uncheck the rigid body, I want to freeze the transform, mainly the scale. And go back and recheck the rigid body. Dynamic compound 2002. I don't know that I necessarily need to have that set. It could probably stay FF. Uh, there's no uh, collision on these arms, so no, I don't, I don't think I'd be able to pick it up that way. Uh, Chris, well, that uh, Jack needs to bring that uh, trailer tongue up high enough to connect. I know, who would have thought, right? You like my highly detailed uh, jack I just put on it? Spent a lot of time on that jack, you know. That took a while to model that one. Let's see, is it going to work this time? Probably not. I also think positive, right? Hey, look at that. It actually, well, well <laughs> that's weird. It kind of sort of works, and then it falls flat on its face. Hmm. Weird. Maybe I'll go have to look at another jack. Okay, let's go look at a jack. See what's what the actual uh, collision mask we got to have on it. I just happen to have a mod that uh, has a jack on it. Oh, let's see what's there. Where is... Hmm, where's the John Deere 7000? That's interesting. I don't have the 7,000 in there. Okay. Let's 
7,006 row fertilizer. I believe that's the right one. Let's see what the rigid body on this jack is here. Or, uh, jack. Cinder block on this one. Most realistic mod ever. Okay, where's the cinder block? Yeah, I gotta go find this cinder block. Well, actually, you know what? The support column. Is that actually the one? Oh, uh, yes, it is. Uh, support column. Rigid body is set to... Oh, it is set to that, huh? Okay. Interesting. Where the actual one is? Attach or join. Is it under here? Yeah, there it is. Concrete block. There's another support column. Okay. Needs to be a compound child collision with a mask of 2002. Set to static. That's what we need to have. Okay. We'll try that. Uh, True former your math teacher was complaining about people sending her messages at 8 at night. So what's wrong with 8 at night? That's not that late. Okay, so static. Does not let me check the box compound child, though, huh? I wonder how you're supposed to check that box if it doesn't let you check it. Not fair. How am I supposed to check the box if it doesn't let me check it? Something else I'm supposed to check here? Yeah, how are you supposed to uh, check that if it doesn't let you do that? Uh, anyway, uh, Shwoke50, uh, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much for that. Welcome to the stream. If you're uh, just joining us, by the way, we're working on modding a uh, Farming Simulator 19 sweep plow. So it'll be a tillage implement here for Farming Simulator. Just uh, figuring out the jack here. Well, figuring out a jack that'll hopefully hold as a jack. Just something temporary. Well, what's the difference between a sweet plow and a sour plow? Uh, sugar. Well, you know what? If I can't uh, get that checked, I can always export this one and use this one. That's what we'll do. Or in one way uh, to skin a cat, right? Uh, true. Yeah, I average I spend about uh, four hours doing her work, which is a, a third of your total time doing schoolwork. A third of your time doing math. Oh my, that's a lot of time doing math. Good for you. Well, it is time consuming. We have to start and take off your shoes and socks and put them back on. Take them off. Put them back on. Oh, you tell me. I mean, how else are you supposed to count? Uh, 
There we go. See if that holds it up now, right? That should. Uh, Credit sounds like your uh, teacher has too much time to complain. Suspicious. Whatever. Looks like our improvised uh, jack stand is working though. And it is still not letting me uh, connect. Huh. I don't know why that is. Very, very odd. At least if you ask me anyway, very odd. Ah, don't worry about it. I mean, yeah, who needs to get, connect? Yeah, just get it released. Right. It should be ready to go. Looks fine to me. Okay. Release should be tomorrow then. Mm. Yeah, as I kind of suspected, I mean, I didn't think the problem was the height. Something else is wrong with the attachment. I'm just not sure what, because the code... Looks like it is right. Might have to explore the XML some more, or the uh, the, the log some more, see if there's something in that. On that note, though, I want to think it's about time to wrap it up here for uh, tonight. So, again, everyone, thanks for watching. If you'd like to uh, join us in on uh, TeamSeek, you're welcome to do so. Information down below in the uh, description there. Uh, again, anyone is welcome to join as long as you can uh, play nicely, follow the rules, and uh, till next time. Uh, same time tomorrow, by the way. Uh, at least that's the plan anyway.